Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren, and in today's video, we'll be doing some of the updates for World of Warcraft that have happened recently. One of the things we'll be talking about are Death Knights, Allied Races, and a little bit of a sneak preview that I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to see in terms of what Allied Races might look like as Death Knights. It isn't gonna look perfect or pretty, it isn't something we weren't even supposed to see just yet, but it gives us a little bit of an idea in case you were wondering. I also want to hit up a little bit about Shadowlands, abilities that are come back to World of Warcraft and express my pure excitement and a couple of other things. Without further ado, let's dive into the Death Knights. A lot of us have been wondering what the Allied Race versions of Death Knights are all going to look like. So far Blizzard has not put up a finalized build where we can actually craft these Death Knights and experience the brand new introductory questline that includes Bolvar as a new Lich King. But on PTR, we are able to get a sneak preview of the unfinished version. If you mouse over to the PTR, normally if you go to a Pandaren or any of the allied races, they naturally cannot be Death Knights. But if you go over to someone like a human or an orc, select Death Knight that switched to Pandaren, now all of a sudden, you're able to see what the new allied races as well as Pandaren might look like as Death Knights. Now I want to give you guys a little bit of a preview without any talk so you guys may enjoy what they have so far again this isn't finished but enjoy while we have it Some of the things that I noticed is the fact that male Void Elves actually still have DK glowing eyes. And the fact that they even have Death Knight glowing eyes already enabled. This is because obviously Void Elves are just like Blood Elves. And for whatever reason Blizzard decided to slip up on this one and add the Death Knight eyes available. Even though you can't play Void Elves as Death Knights, the eyes are still available. So if they are already in the game, everybody else should be available too. Blizzard is just yet to release the patch that has everybody up and running. Another awesome idea, which is not my own, that I heard around the internet is what if Dark Iron Dwarfs, instead of having the red eyes and red embers in the beard, had blue eyes, like a Death Knight, and blue embers in their beard? It is an interesting question whether they retain their red eyes. It would be kind of cool and unique if they did. I think a Blood Death Knight with red eyes would look awesome. But I wonder if they'll add this as a customization option for Dark Iron Dwarfs in the future. Overall though, the Death Knights are looking pretty good. I think most of them look great. I really cannot wait until some of the other skin versions of Death Knights come out and maybe even more customization options when it comes to Shadowlands. But I guess most of the other extra customization options like maybe one eyeball missing or something is most likely to arrive at a later time with the new expansion announcement. Either way, super excited about Death Knights. 
Another thing I want to talk about is Shadowlands and some of the abilities we are getting back once Shadowlands comes out. I'm sorry about, I've just been Shadowlands on my mind all day long. But I was looking at some of the rogue abilities, for example. The fact that rogues are getting poisons back, maybe even one poison, which would be amazing for PvP, allowing subtlety and outlet to be even more competitive to assassination when it comes to player versus player interactions. Also, having deadly poison for assassination is great, but for outlaw and sub rogues when dealing against other stealthies, having a dot is ooh, gonna be so good. Also, Shiv coming back is going to be such a massive impact. I do wonder what kind of Shiv are we going to get. Is it going to be the Shiv that force applies poisons and has a slow? Will it remove an enrage effect like it used to from back in the day? Because as a rogue who loves doing Mythic Plus dungeons, I would love to start using Shiv in order to de-enrage certain mobs. Sometimes I feel like it takes forever for my hunters and druids to de-enrage an enemy, so for me to apply a Shiv to them, I think would feel so good. And it just brought back a couple different memories of previous expansions that I played, starting with Cataclysm up until now, and all the different rogue abilities we have gained and lost over the time period. So I'm very excited about what rogues are getting. I'm also very excited about what majority of the classes are getting since I have so many odds that I get to play. I'm really interested about how the Warlock Curses are going to function, and will Ritual Doom actually summon a Doom Guard for you to enslave? And I wonder if it's going to be just as annoying to deal with as it was maybe back in the days of Vanilla. Also, what auras are we going to be getting for Paladins, and if they are going to be modified at all? I'm also very excited about the opportunity for Blizzard to bring back different weapons, and they said they want to loosen up some weapon restrictions. So could we, for example, get two-handed Frost Death Knight back? I think that'll be very awesome. Even if functionally in gameplay, the Death Knight isn't going to be that different. It's just the offhand and main hand obliterate damage just going to, you know, fuse together. Same thing for Frost Strike, main hand, offhand, which is going to fuse together when you equip a two-hander. But I would love the playstyle of the two-hand Frost Death Knight. Just to wield a massive weapon in between your hands instead of, you know, small little swords on one side and the other. I think it would just feel great when you press an abli ability called Obliterate. To feel like you're actually obliterating an enemy with a massive cleaver, I feel like would fit a lot more than two dinky swords. And I do wonder if they will add something like an Enhancement Shaman with a two-hander. Of course, they did design a bunch of classes around the weapons that they have currently. And the only example we have of a class that has a variety of different weapons you can actually sort of choose from would be an Outlaw Rogue, where you can have a main hand, and the main hand is going to be an axe, fist, sword, or a mace, anything that is a one-hander. But the offhand doesn't exactly have to be a one-hander, it can be a dagger. Does it change your playstyle fundamentally? No, but if you want it to be a swashbuckler and you imagine your pirate rogue to be one with a heavy sword, maybe a cutlass, and maybe a dagger to shiv in your enemy's sides whenever they're not looking, then I feel like it just fills the fantasy. And it might have some functionality uses, like let's say with two one-handers you get a lot more auto-attack swings, with a massive two-hander you get less auto-attack swings. Pretty sure Blizzard could do the math behind the damage and either normalize it or allow there to be differences so players can choose the playstyle they want and build around that said playstyle. I think stuff like that would be really cool. Either way, super excited about the possibility of having different weapons at the very least. Lastly, if you're someone who's playing Classic WoW right now and you play on a PvP server, the Phase 2 of Classic World of Warcraft is live as of recently. Apparently servers have really been taking a dump on just about everybody. The lag is heavy and it's almost unenjoyable to have massive open world experiences when you're fighting against one another. But on a smaller server with, let's say, 15 people for each faction, I think it could be quite fun. But yes, PvP is available, you don't have battlegrounds, but still you can start farming honor in open world PvP. So, start making your pre-mades and start ganking the Alliance or the Horde for the sweet, sweet honor. Otherwise, this is going to be everything that we have so far, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about everything we talked so far? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see all of you in the next one.